Hi, I'm Jean Schumacher, founder of Simply Plant Based, where I have programs to help you to change your health destiny, including the Plant Based Academy, where I provide help, support, guidance, and resources to switch to a plant based lifestyle, as well as the Pregnancy Advantage, where Dr. Deborah Shapiro, OBGYN, she and I help women to get their bodies pregnant ready or help heal your bodies if dealing with infertility issues. Today, I have the honor of connecting with Dr. Lee Ettinger who's a board certified pediatric nephrologist and obesity medicine, and is a specialist in hypertension. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me here today. Thanks a lot for having me. I'm really excited for our conversation. Oh, it's a good one. This conversation that we're about to have is based upon the article in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, of which you are one of the authors, and it's titled Plant-Based Diets and Hypertension. Well, let's talk about epigenetics and hypertension. First off, most people have not heard about epigenetics. What what is epigenetics? Epigenetics is the changes in our bodies due to alterations in gene expression rather than to changes in the genetic code itself. So the thinking is that uh, there's an expression that the genes uh, load the gun and then something else in the environment, in the diet, in the lifestyle, smoking, this or that, something else during your life actually pulls the trigger, fires the gun, and in this analogy, that would be starts the disease. So even though we might have the genes for good health or this or that disease, they're all in there, but it's epigenetics, which is the impact of something else going on in our bodies, in our diet, in our lifestyle, that's actually triggering these genes that are all in there, uh, but triggering these genes to start working, to start in, in impacting our life. So let me just clarify that. That means you can turn on and off gene expression, kind of like a light switch. Yes, pretty neat, huh? Uh, and this is, this is. is a newer, newer area of exploration for researchers also. But yes, the light switch analogy is, is very apropos. Oh, wow. Well, is there any data linking a plant-based diet to improve blood pressure, you know, via epigenetic mechanisms? Like I said, this is pretty new stuff going on in the research world. There is some experiments in salt sensitive rats. So that's rats that salt will raise their blood pressure that uh, shows that they have worsening high blood pressure, worsening kidney damage in uh, if they're fed a diet high in animal protein versus those that are fed a diet high in plant protein, for example. That, but then there's also that many plant-derived compounds do show activity either in inhibiting this DNA methylation, which is a form of epigenetics, making the epigenetic mechanisms a plausible contributor to the antihypertensive mechanisms of a plant-based diet. Once again, grandma's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grandma's, grandma's hip with the epigenetics. <laughs> she is, absolutely. Well, and if you do have the internal locus to want that change, then you're going to need help and support because you're going to have a lot of questions because you're going to be changing your lifestyle. I mean, everything that you've learned for the last however many years you've been on the planet yeah is you're going to be changing that and so you're going to need help and so i've created the plant-based academy to help people and provide that support and coaching and education and i know that you offer as well so share with us what you offer right so i worked in my hospital in the major medical center in a pediatric weight management program and i've since left and developed my own pediatric weight management program Again, for people with an internal locus of control who want to learn how to eat healthier and eat more plant-based. And so I offer a 12-week program with the support of telemedicine visits with an e-course so that you can learn at home. And I've also coordinated with a plant-based chef so that there are virtual cooking classes to your own kitchen. 
and also a youth fitness expert. He can meet families online and do a virtual uh, exercise classes, depending on what the child's interest is, whether that's getting uh, strength or conditioning or flexibility, things like that. So in that very comprehensive and supportive 12 week program, I'm helping someone, uh, hopefully a family with an internal locus of control who really wanna learn how to take these steps. And then another program that I offer is a four week pediatric nutrition optimization program. Because what I've been frustrated by is a lot of families that I work with, both when I was in the nephrology department and in the obesity management programs, is that the pediatricians would kind of be getting counter advice. So I'd see a family and they say, oh, you know, I, I developed anemia. My pediatrician said I shouldn't eat more meat or, oh, I need dairy every day. And, and so what I really want to help support and, or families that were vegan or vegetarian or trying different variations of pescatarian, the plant-based diet, that uh, they were getting a lot of concern from their pediatricians or from other family members or friends as they were raising a child. And so I developed a four-week program also to help support families to understand nutrition and to avoid deficiencies and to meet all of these concerns and have kind of a response for all these concerns, protein, iron, things like that. So that's a four-week program, again, all telemedicine, with a, its own separate e-course. And that one's working with the plant-based chef also to learn new recipes and to really give someone an, a nutrition education and a nutrition mastery. So you go through the four-week program and then you take that hopefully for the rest of your life. Again, for someone who's very internally motivated, they've learned how to fix their problems with my support. I'm only licensed in New York and New Jersey at this moment. So I'm also offering the e-courses more widely to anyone online who wants to sit down and go through the e-course. Uh, it's just when you're working with me one-on-one, -on -one, then we go through it with more support, more details, but the e-courses are also standalone for people. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.